Right, we're looking at stem and leaf diagrams now. Stem and leaf diagrams are just ways of organising data, okay, to make it slightly, slightly easier, essentially, to um, do some calculations. So, what we need to do here is um, we're going to look at the stem. The stem goes here, okay, and that's going to be, in this case, the tens, all right? So, the eights, the seven, and what else have we got? Oh, we've got a nine there. So, we've got seven, eight, and nine, and then the leaves go along here okay and they need to go in order all right and that's really important they need to go in order and they need to be aligned as well so i'm going to work my way through i'm going to uh, now i did this before if i'm totally honest um, but you, so i'll go zero one five seven and eight and so zero one five seven and eight all right now 80 i've got a couple of 80s i think yeah 80 80 there we go. Um, I've got an 81, got an 82, got another 82, another 82. I've got an 84, an 88, and an 89. So that's the two 80. Uh, where's the 81? I've got a one, two, three 82s. I've got an 84. I've got an 88. Where's that? There you go. An 89, and then I've just got a 91 left. Now, what I would do. There were 15 runners, it tells us that, where is it, uh, there, okay, um, and I'll just count 15, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, perfect, so I haven't forgotten anything, it's very easy to miss um, ones, even if you're crossing out. So, from that, we haven't actually quite finished. Um, first, the next thing we need to do is have a key because at the moment we don't know what these numbers in the stem and leaf mean. So 7 slash O means 70. Okay, and that, if you had to draw a stem and leaf in, a, in um, a, an exam, okay, that will get you full marks there. Okay. Now, the stuff you can work out from this is, uh, first of all, the, uh, you can work out the mode. The mode, as we know, uh, it's, it's a bit easier to see in a stem and leaf, but it's the one that appears the most. Now, that's actually these, 82. Now, I know there's three zeros, but this first one up here, which I will do uh, in orange, this one here is 70, and these two's here, okay, are 80. So, that isn't the mode, but those three twos there means that the mode is 82. Okay, now the median is what we're often asked to calculate using these. So that is the middle number. Hey, there are 15. Okay, so uh, actually we're looking for the eighth number and you can cross off one from either end if you like, but I'm gonna go for the eighth number. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the median. Now, don't just put 1, put 81. Okay, they probably won't ask you to work out the mean, but they could do. That's just exactly the same. The stem of leaf doesn't make that particularly easy, if I'm totally honest. Um, there's no easier or harder than it is if you're just listing the numbers out. But the final one uh, that might be of use is the uh, the quartiles. Okay, now that's a quarter of the way. Now, I, now I've... I've circled this because it's going to be useful so the lower quartile is the um is the sort of middle of the bottom half so that would be now there's one two three four five six seven of them so the middle is there and the middle of the top half would be there okay again you can do the crossings out now the uh, the interquartile range so this is the lower quartile and this is oops lower quartile and this is the upper quartile so the IQR, which you might be asked to do, would be the difference between them. So that is 84 minus 77. So 84 subtract 77, which is 7. Okay, so they're all the things that a stem and leaf diagram could be used for. Um, they are quite useful, actually. Uh, so there you go. Enjoy.